is Anthony from WDBHealthcare.com. In this world of COVID-19, there's some things that are just in short supply, and we understand that. We sell these uh, masks, but we do run out, and we understand how difficult it is and how important it is to have one on for your own safety and for the safety of others. So we've contacted our manufacturer of all the different layers of the mask and ask them some specific questions so we could come up with a way that if you're in a pinch and you can't find a new mask because these are disposable masks, you can run them through a process and wear them again. We recommend that if you do do this and only do it when you have to, is to care for them in a very certain way and only clean them a few times. Now, if you've noticed, I've written my name on it, and I also have some markings on the other side. The name is so I know it's my mask when I get done cleaning it, and the markings on the other side tell me how many times I've cleaned it. I've cleaned it three times so far, and I'm gonna clean it the fourth time now. Here are some few things you need. Soap, dishwashing soap is fine. You need a little vessel to mix it with water in. You're gonna need some paper towels, and of course, you're gonna need a laundry marking pen so you can mark this and have it still visible. So I'm gonna take my mask and I'm gonna put it back in the original position. Take that little piece of metal on the top and make it straight and sort of fold it. There we are. So I'm gonna wash this mask. And this is the last time I'm gonna do it. Um, so let's talk about what we need to do to wash it. Put a little soap in the pan fill it up with some warm water. Nice and soapy water. <clears throat> the soap breaks down the outer layer of the virus and exposes the inner virus to the elements, oxygen, sunlight, etc., which destroys it very quickly. I'm gonna bring it back to the table. I'll put my mask in it. What's important when we're cleaning this mask is we're not crumpling it all up. The inner layer, which does all the work, is a little bit more fragile than regular cloth. So we're gonna get it, we're gonna pat it down, we're gonna keep it in the original um, position, and we're just gonna make water circulate in and out on both sides. So I'm gonna flip it over, uh, so that water goes through the outer layers, which it can. It won't go through the inner layer. That's why you gotta flip it over and do both sides. So right now we're using this action to push the water through the outer cloths on both sides and to clean it. And if there's virus on it, to destroy the outer layer of the virus. So when we talk to our manufacturer of this material for the inner layer, they says it'll take, it will take up to 130 degrees centigrade. Now we have set our oven to 220 degrees uh, and that's what we're going to use to expose it because coronavirus at 70 degrees centigrade will die within five minutes. So we're going to be well underneath the maximum uh, to kill the virus and well underneath what would damage the mask. So now we've got it cleaned. It only took a few minutes. Let me get this back over here and we're going to run it under water. If you want another you, know, you could have a rinse tub and you could use it that way if you want to. Uh, so you wouldn't have to do it under running water. But I would even recommend if you did that for the final uh, rinse to be under running water. Right, so now we've got it cleaned and it's wet. I'm just going to take regular paper towels. Uh, or whatever you need. If you don't have paper towels, you can use a, a, a clean, a known clean uh, towel. But we're just going to get most of the water out of it this way. Just going to press it. Again, keeping it in its original form from the factory and pressing down to get the majority of the water out. Let's do this again with another set. And 
and I have to emphasize, these masks were not made to be washed. So if you can avoid washing them and you can replace them, that is what we recommend. We only recommend this when they're not available. And this inner layer is what does the protection. I know there's a lot of cloth masks out there that people make from old t-shirts, etc. But they don't have that inner layer. And that protection doesn't prevent the virus from migrating either from the inside to the outside or from the outside to the inside, like these masks do. So that's why it's important to use a proper mask. So now I got it mostly dry. I'm gonna take the oven. It's already preheated to 220 degrees. I'm gonna just turn it off. Throw it in the oven, close the oven, and then come back in 10 minutes. When I come back in 10 minutes, that mask has been sterilized by two different ways. Once by washing, and then once by heat. So it should be safe to use again. Now, if you've taken that mask and you've shoved it in your pocket, or you don't know what's happened to that mask, don't clean it. It's not safe. And if you're trying to apply this to other masks, I've not talked to the manufacturers of that products, so I don't know what the heat might do to their products. This is for the masks that we sell only. And again, only when it's absolutely necessary because you can't find new ones. Thank you very much.